Good morning. If you have been here in the last <coughs> for the last episode, you realize I made a discovery. But I want to find out. discovered. So, this is the program I wrote the other day to initialize a drive a hundred times and put things exactly where they should be on the screen and count and then stop after a hundred. So the discovery of course was after I saved the program to the disk drive and then wanted to load the first program I loaded quote aster quote comma eight thinking that um, the first program would load, but the first program didn't load. I will redo this. Look at this. I'm actually save. <coughs> Torment, comma eight. saved it. So it is still here. There is no trickery here. I'm now going to type in new. I'm going to list. I'm going to list, I say. What? Fine. And there's nothing there. Now, wanting to load the first program on the disk, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to run. And guess what? If I was working with a blank disk, I would not be at all surprised by this because there would only be one program on the disk. But there is not just one program on the disk. There are lots of them, lots of files. But it has remembered the file name that I just saved and said, oh, okay, so you want that. So there it is. Now, I obviously... <coughs> obviously? Yes, I think... Um, I'm curious as to where this saves it. So here is what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to type in new to get rid of this program. Nothing is there. But if I do it again, of course, it's going to load it in again. Hello. There we go. So there it is. So, <coughs> I'm going to try something. I'm going to say new. I'm going to turn the disk drive off. I'm going to turn the disk drive on. Because I was trying to think, where is it remembering this? Where, where, where? And I think it might be in the disk drive. So let's try. Aha! This is taking longer. When I say run, we have the menu. the menu. So, based on that, somehow or another, I believe the name of the last file that we saved, in this case which was Torment, there we are, that that, the disk drive holds onto that. I'm not sure, I, I've never known this. I have never, ever, 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 ever known this. So, this is possibly enough to send some people in search of psychiatric help. And who would they see? Well, look. This is the theme from the Bob Newhart Show. funny, I don't really remember it, but I think this is when he played the psychiatrist. So, 
well, the discovery that this file name remains, um, what does it do? What does it mean? Well, really nothing. I just, it's one of those things I never, ever, ever, ever knew. It may be, oh, oh I'm sorry, that song is just not doing it for me. Um, Gets rid of everything. Let's try this. Um, yes. Anyway, I don't remember anybody speaking of this, talking of this, warning of this. Um, and does it really make a vast difference? It's kind of, in a way, I, I see it, it's kind of like the Y2K thing. Much ado about, well, you know, something that's really not going to do much of anything. But anyway, there is a discovery which you should be able to recreate and try. Um, and once again, is it earth-shattering? Well, no, it isn't. Does it make a vast difference in anybody's life? No, it doesn't. Does it have any stunning application? Um, not that I can think of. But, you know, I've been around these machines since... Golly, I was in... I don't know, grade 9, grade 10, 1979, 1980, somewhere in there, and this is just something I never knew, never ever knew, never ever knew, so there, um, new discoveries or rediscoveries or, or things could be happening at any moment, and this was the magic of the early days when every little poke, every little this, every little that was new. And, uh, you know, we'd get the T-Pug disc and run things, but you would actually open up programs, most of them were in basic, to have a look. If you saw something that was doing something, and you were wondering, what is that doing? And you would try and find it. And you would maybe snag a subroutine, or just even one little something. And that is how we shared and learned together. Indeedy. So, um, I'm thinking that at the moment, that that is all I have to say about that. So, if you are so inclined, write a little program, save it, test this, um, and see. So I wonder, I guess the only time that this could make something screw up, and you know what I'll have to do, I'll have to see, I'll have to try another thing about if I change the disc, does it forget? Because, of course, remember, games would always say, not always, but a lot of them would say, load, quote, asterisk, quote, comma, eight, comma, one, and then they would go into their elaborate sort of loading things and all kinds of things. Usually where they would spend a whole lot of time to put up their special logo screen that probably took great pains to create and took a whole long time to load and everybody really just wanted to skip it. But um, I wonder, so if I typed it in a little program and I saved it and then I swapped the disk and I typed load, quote, Asterisk, quote, comma, eight, comma, one. Would it still look for the program I had saved, or would it load the first one on the disk? I don't know. Um, I'll have to experiment. Anyway, so there. The experiments, the learning never ends. Bye for now.